Hi everybody, it's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, the Montana Stock Growers Association and 22 other state cattlemen's associations, including the Wyoming Stock Growers, have signed a letter requesting an investigation of beef pricing margins by the Justice Department, which resulted from two recent extreme market shifts due to a packing plant fire last summer in Holcomb, Kansas, and of course, more recently due to COVID-19. This week, I talked with the Montana Stock Growers Association's President Fred Wacker about their request to have the cattle markets investigated. Montana Stock Growers feels that, that we did the right thing. This is needed done for a good while. We're very interested in seeing that there is fairness in the, in the market. It's very hard to watch the, uh, the prices paid for fat cattle to uh, to fall and slumber along, and we see the cutout values holding steady, and in some instances rising. We believe that we need to take a look at how fight cattle are, are priced, and as long as, as we're going to do that, we think that it's time that the Department of Justice did an investigation, and we, we find out exactly what the profits are and exactly what the packers are doing when they buy cattle. And Fred says MSGA believes the Department of Justice is the appropriate agency to open an investigation and can also support the USDA in its investigation, allowing this process to be concluded in a timely manner. Well, stay with us, friends. We'll have more ag news right after this. Montana hemp growers have voted to establish a 1% checkoff for hemp, making Montana the first state in the nation to establish a hemp checkoff. Checkoff funds are used to fund activities related to research, market development, and education. Montana Department of Agriculture Director Ben Thomas says it's great to see Montana hemp growers' willingness to look towards the future and they're excited to work together to move things along. Now the department is also seeking qualified applicants to serve on the Montana Hemp Advisory Committee and the committee is responsible for advising the Department of Agriculture on funding priorities as they relate to research, marketing, and education. The application deadline is May 15th. For more details, contact the Montana Department of Agriculture in Helena. And finally, it looks like Producer signed a record 1.7 million contracts for USDA's agriculture risk coverage and price loss coverage programs for the 2019 crop year, which is more than 107% of the total contracts signed compared with the five-year average. USDA also reminds producers that June 30th is the deadline to enroll in ARC and PLC for this year's crop year. FSA attributes the significant participation in last year's crop year ARC and PLC programs to increase producer interest in the programs under the new farm bill and to an increase in eligible farms because of the selling and buying of farms and new opportunities for beginning farmers and military veterans with farms having 10 or more fewer base acres. Enrollment for last year ended March 16th. Again, producers still have a lot of time, really through about the end of June, to get signed up for this year's crop year. As always, if you have any questions about this USDA Farm Service Agency program or certainly the countless others here of late, the best advice is to always contact your local Farm Service Agency Office. And while we're on the topic, of course, USDA just recently announced that $19 billion COVID-19 relief package for America's farmers and ranchers and agribusiness professionals. And hopefully in the days and weeks to come, we'll be able to share more details about those programs and how you can get signed up for some of that $19 billion. In the meantime, though, that's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.